Hello and welcome to a video by Dulane, otherwise known as Keith, and I'm going to talk to you about my journey into matched betting. So to anyone who's been watching my videos of late, there's a couple about Amazon FBA, and I've been looking into other things, and I've actually recorded the video that I've got to sort out and upload. Um, so this is kind of going to go out, upload uh, thing. But anyway, I met these girls, Cora, and I'm really going to hate myself for getting this name wrong. Um, but they, a couple of girls, they live up north. And, um, God, I feel so rude. Why are you going to be so rude? I've got the link up here. I oh, know, I closed the window, I didn't want. But anyway, they, um, I called a couple of girls. I'm going to give you a link to their YouTube channel. I'm also going to give you a link to their page. Um, and they really got me into looking into doing eBay, like buying and selling on eBay, and I can't believe how much there is that's going on for sale. But anyway, um, they kind of got me into something called match betting. Now it's gambling. And you do need a bit of money to start, you don't need much. I personally started with about, what was it now, 75, just over 75 quid is my initial outlay um, for doing this. And the whole idea is, a load of sites out there, betting sites, Carl, Betfred, Betfair, William Hill, the likes, they do these bonuses. So like you spend so much and you make a bet, that bet goes through, here's a bonus. And then at the same time when you do the first bet you have to use another site and you have to match the bet. So like Team A, you're bidding for Team A to win a match on the one site and then you go on to another site and um, I'll go into more details and I'll talk about how this works later on. But you go into the, the other site, this program I'm using called Profit Accumulator. Again, I'll link in the description. Um, it helps you find match starts. So like you vote for t you, you bet for Team A to win on your bookie site. And then it will recommend the exchange site, which I've seen is Betfair at the moment. Um, if that changes, I don't know. And you bet against that result. So the whole idea is you, you'll lose a bit of money on that first qualifying bet. So you spend the same each side and qualify for your for your free bet, which then you can invest into spending onto the next gamble. Um, so I did it today on Coral, and yeah, my notes absolutely terrible. I've been rewriting it and getting maths wrong. I actually misunderstood the step and put more money into one of the sides that I didn't need to. Um, but in a sense, from what I've done, it looks like I am up by 11 pounds and 54 pence which is not a lot really but i've gone the start of the night i was on 76 pounds and um is that right i'm sure it's wrong but according to this i have spent i outlaid 90 pounds and i'm up to 103 so it's pretty good it's going to be slow going but as you go through these steps it works out really well. But yeah, just to show you, this is kind of how I did it. Um, if you were to account not for the boo-boo, then I can say that I've made £27 on that. Um, so I actually have made £27.17 pence profit if you ignore the... Uh, if you do ignore that cock-up. But anyway, yeah, so it's been pretty fun. I did a couple of bets. I did one on... I think the first match I did, and um, it was, well, one was football, actually, Aston Villa versus Brentford, who, yeah, that's, I don't like Villa. I was glad they lost, I actually made the money back on that, um, but I, that was my qualifying bet, which subsequently won on the account I wanted it to. I then bet on a horse, and that was um, a horse called, oh, what was it now? Oh... Rua, whatever, it was a race, it was a GB Kelso at something like quarter to seven, something stupid, and it won. And I'm quite happy because it all landed on the same account, and I'm actually, in all the money I've got is in one, in the one betting account, whereas if I had to withdraw from different sides, they all have different meanings. But yeah, I think if you consider that I started off, uh, you know, an initial spend, like money I've spent directly invested, at £76 and I'm up to 103 
that's pretty darn sweet um, yeah and I'm gonna keep on doing it more uh, I don't even know how often I can talk on these videos like if I should just give you a overview would you guys like to see an overview of that how it goes it's a very interesting concept I looked at it and I thought it's a bit of a risk it's, it's gambling um, but the whole idea is you kind of make your money back the sense is like when you spend your bonus money like there's one I'm doing at the moment for uh, Betfred I invested 10 quid that lost but I won that back on Betfair through this match oh that was a different match I think that was a Spanish game or something I don't know don't care <laughs> Um, but I'm waiting on the £30 bet so tomorrow I can go and invest that into whichever and win. There's, well, I, I win all the time because you match it on both sides. When it comes to the exchange site, you're lying against that result, but you're betting on winning on the other side. Yeah, it sounds confusing, right? You have to stump up what's called a liability, so you have to live beyond within your means. Um, but if I if it works out right, I could make about twenty pound profit on the next one. But yeah, like I say, um, on the Spanish match, the winning one I was at eight pound profit, so I lost about one pound fifty six. If you account for the fact that I lost, I spent ten pound on the other side. Uh, on the bet that I did with the bonus, I won about fourteen fifty. So yeah, very good, very good indeed. Um, considering if you look at the bonus as non-existent the money's not there then you're not losing you're not investing anything it's just free money um so yeah it's pretty sweet you know it's, it's very risky if you don't rush if you, take, if you rush yourself um but we'll see how it goes i'm going to take it very slow just keep within the means i've got my investment there i've got the money there so as long as i don't overdo it then it should be all right right we'll see so this is something you definitely have to take your time over and from what I'm understanding, there's good money in it, but you've got to you've got to put the time in. So maybe it'll be a good way because I really want to get into making a good dent into my build-up fund for my Amazon Prime, my Amazon FBA, and it's a good way to do it. I work full time anyway, so I've got money coming in that way. But this kind of helps me reinvest and be assured that I can, you know, get where I need to go. But yeah, that's my first episode of uh, my journey through matched betting. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And I'm probably going to try and start blogging more about my results and how I do with things. Um, and go from there. But I might link... Well, I've got to say, I've got to sign up to this profit accumulator site. It's, it's £20 a month. Well, I might just do the £150 for a year. I might just do monthly for now, just so I can get the money up. Then pay it in. And they give you all different, it's like, I guess it's a bunch of people, they pick all the different offers and put them in that site and then you go through them. But as I get to use it more, I'll show you the process. If I'm okay to do that, I'll need to check and uh, show you how I can hopefully make 75 quid into, God knows. <laughs> it just seems weird me doing this. I just think, you see all these videos and all these people out there on YouTube and the internet I can help make you rich I can help you do this if you do that like I think if you just kind of just sometimes you gotta take a chance and you've got to accept that you might screw yourself over or you might fall for something but if you sometimes you just gotta go you know what it's worth a go if I lose a few quid I lose a few quid I can know the money in Betfair I can cash out within a couple of days and I can do it back to my PayPal account because I know Betfair have what's called a closed loop policy where if you pay in PayPal you can only withdraw in PayPal so I want to try and do it that way so at least I can get the money back and not be stuck you know it's not so bad way for a couple of days but if you're someone like me who use a credit card I'm ignoring the fact it's a credit card for now because I'll make it back if you're using a credit card it's going back onto that car and it's like yeah at least with PayPal it's a loophole because I pay through PayPal, they see it as PayPal, because that's how you, that's the merchant that was used at the time, and then it's up to me to pay back onto the card. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm going to try and upload this before I go to bed. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, you enjoy this journey with me. I kind of find it's more interested in talking about this thing and doing these things and see how it goes than doing my usual gaming stuff. <laughs> I do need to play some video games, maybe tomorrow I will. So thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoy. So take care guys and I'll catch you later.